Hello and thanks for joining us for this week's track guide for Daily Race C in association with Kirith Esports. This is a bit of a special uh, track guide this week because it's featuring another Kirith Esports driver, Danny Racing. Uh, Danny Racing is one of the fastest drivers in the Asia Pacific region and a lot faster than anything I would be able to put together on this lap. So you can see a really competitive lap time this week and be exciting to break that down. It's in the Group 4 cars and the car of choice is the Alfa Romeo 4C. Brake balance is on minus 3. And uh, yeah, we're going to get into it and break down what a really fast lap looks like on this track. So let's get into it. Here we are then. And the first brake marker we're looking out for is just after the 100 board coming across onto the kerb. And just as you get past it, getting heavy on the brakes, down to third gear, make sure that you get over and use plenty of this kerb on the inside. And then you see balancing the throttle and using all of this kerb on the right on the exit. And then coming up to what can be a tricky section here where we just want to have a dab of brake at the 50 board, keep the car in fourth, use all of this kerb on the right, uh, so just make sure you keep your left two tyres on the kerb there and you won't get a penalty, and then accelerating out. And next we're also looking for the 50 board, so braking on the 50 board here, down to third at first, but then second gear to rotate the car right around, start feeding the power in once you clip this kerb on the inside of the apex. And then we've got a bit of a flat section. Uh, while we're going just around this corner, I'd love to ask you to smash the like button if you're enjoying the video and uh, want to see some more like this in the future. And we're going to slow it down as we're coming down across onto this kerb on the right. So you see here, there's just a dab of brake, down to third gear. You come just past that kerb on your left. The car's going to come out wide, then use seconds to rotate for the second part of the corner. And you can see just using that little sort of brown runoff area to aim for, both on the inside and also on the corner exit as well. This next corner is a bit of a strange one because there's no braking really for it. You actually see that Danny shifts up to fifth there and then just down shifts to fourth to rotate, balancing the throttle the whole way around, but make sure you keep the car tight to that inside right line. We're also flat through this section, but just make sure you turn in early enough and use both the kerbs uh, to give yourself a good line. And the next brake marker we're looking out for is the start of this kerb. So just before the start of the kerb on the left there, getting heavy on the brakes down into third gear again aiming for this sort of brown area and uh, getting onto the curb and then feeding the power in once you are on that curbing make sure you come back out to the right hand side to give yourself the angle to turn in down the hill here and we are using second gear to rotate the car around this sort of off camber section of the track we're just going to speed ahead here as this is just flat out through this section but you do want to look out for the 50 board on your left at the 50 board start turning in just a lift off the throttle, downshift to fourth, and then ride this kerb the whole way around. See so flat out, revving the gear out uh, in fourth gear, and then up to fifth. And now we've got this swooping downhill section. So again, flat, but just make sure you use all the curbing. So turn in nice and early for all of these. Clip these curbs, keep the car uh, in fifth, revving out, and you'll be flat through there. And then we do just need to break very briefly on the 50 board turn in initially in fifth down to fourth just to help keep the car tight and once you come past the second uh, yellow awning grandstand on your left you can start accelerating so it's about half around that corner second yellow grandstand you can accelerate and it's flat from there as you see that's good enough for a 225696 which is currently the number one time in asia and will definitely be a top 10 time uh, possibly in in the world by the end of the week so amazing lap there from danny thanks very much to him for the replay hope that you've enjoyed it Please do smash the like button if you have and consider subscribing for future videos and we look forward to seeing you for some more content soon. Good luck with your qualifying and thanks for tuning in.